take another deep breath in and hold it for just a second and exhale. I always say that's the universe giving you that good morning kiss. When you exhale, you're giving the universe a kiss back. Thank you very much. I was out of town this past week. And in a little bit of recovery, I was locked up in the house a little bit. And I just thought, <laughs> in essence, I would not be a good person. I have to be shut in all the time. But I just thought about all those people who are shut in in their spirits. They're closed up in their spirits. And we talked about a little bit of that this morning on the pre-show. To live in the now. This past week, I was speaking with a friend of mine, and we were talking about another co-pastor in Atlanta who had a big church there, and it was called Church in the Now. And I always love that name because it's the nowness of God. My friend Tammy Faye always said, you can't drive through life looking in the rearview mirror. Now imagine that. Could you drive looking in your rearview mirror going forward? So let's practice living in the now. Say that now. Living in the now. I let go of the past because I can't change it. I receive the future when it becomes the now. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Actually, at that point where you take that breath in and that climax of that breath is the moment of now. It's the Spirit of God that's in, in tune with you and in line with you. Thank you very much for being here. I also, too, wanted to take a moment to say that uh, I want to send my love out to Ryan Owens, who lost his grandfather. This seems to be a year, kind of a year of a loss for folks. It's a trying time. But we're going to live and practice living in the now. Show, hold your shoulders back and say it. I'm living in the now. Thank you very much.